Nearly 4,000 NASA employees have opted to leave the agency under the Trump administration's. NASA just laid off 15,000 employees the exact same week a mysterious interstellar object made its closest approach to Mars. 3i Atlas was discovered on July 1st by the NASA-funded Atlas Survey. The timing couldn't be worse or more suspicious. How 3i Atlas, a massive space rock from beyond our solar system, streaked past the red planet at 134,000 miles per hour? NASA's websites went dark, data feeds stopped, and the very scientists who should be studying this once-in-a-lifetime event were sent home. This object is at least three miles wide and weighs over 33 billion tons. That's a thousand times more massive than any comet we've seen before. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb says there isn't enough rocky material in interstellar space to naturally deliver something this huge to our doorstep. The last images we got show something that doesn't look like any comet in our databases. The shutdown began on October 1st, 2025, just two days before 3, iAtlas reached its closest point to Mars. Out of NASA's 18,000 employees, 15,000 were laid off. That's 83% of the workforce suddenly unable to access their computers, unable to download data from Mars orbiters, unable to share what might be the most important astronomical observations of our lifetime. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter's high-rise camera, capable of seeing details as small as 98 feet across from Mars orbit, was perfectly positioned to capture our best look at this visitor. But those images? They're sitting on servers that NASA employees can't access. Here's what makes this even stranger. NASA's own shutdown plan specifically states that Artemis moon missions would continue as presidential priorities. They kept 3,000 employees working on getting astronauts back to the moon, something we've already done, while sending home the teams that could study an object we may never see again. Think about that for a second. We're prioritizing a return trip to a rock we've already visited over studying something that traveled potentially millions of years from another star system. The government says this is about budget disputes, but the numbers tell a different story. This shutdown is costing taxpayers an estimated $2 billion per week in lost productivity. Meanwhile, the data we're missing from 3i Atlas could answer fundamental questions about our place in the universe. Representative Anna Polina Luna has been one of the few officials asking hard questions about the timing, even reaching out directly to researchers about potential probes or technology associated with this object. Let me paint you a picture of what we're dealing with here. 3i Atlas isn't your typical comet. When astronomers first spotted it on July 1, 2025, using the Atlas telescope in Chile, they noticed something odd right away. Its path is aligned within just five degrees of our solar system's ecliptic plane. That's the flat disk where all our planets orbit. The odds of a random interstellar object lining up that perfectly? Astronomers calculate it's less than one in a thousand, but it gets weirder. The object's arrival direction is within nine degrees of where we detected the famous WOW signal back in 1977. That powerful radio burst that some scientists thought might be an alien transmission. Now, before you think I'm going full conspiracy theory here, these are measurements from legitimate observatories published in peer-reviewed papers. The scientists themselves are calling these anomalies that may remain puzzling forever. The European Space Agency's ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter managed to capture images on October 3rd, showing 3i Atlas as a fuzzy ball of light about 680 miles wide. Not the solid core, but the glowing cloud around it. That's already 10 times smaller than what the Hubble telescope saw from Earth, suggesting this thing has layers like an onion, with different densities at different distances from its core. Here's where the science gets really interesting. When light bounces off normal comets, it behaves predictably. But 3i Atlas shows what scientists call extreme negative polarization. The light is doing something we've never seen before. The measurement came in at minus 2.77% at a phase angle of 6.4 degrees. Every comet in our solar system shows values between minus 1.5% and minus 0.5%. This thing is literally off our charts. Observing from Namibia, Gerald Raymond and Michael Yeager captured one of the final clear Earth-based images of the object on September 25th. It glowed an eerie green invisible light, but showed no typical cometary tail something expected at that proximity to the sun. 
Instead, it displayed what astronomers describe as an anti-tail, a strange narrow beam of light pointing toward the sun rather than away from it. It's like seeing smoke from a chimney flowing down instead of up. The mass calculations are where things get truly bizarre. Based on the object's trajectory and how little it's being pushed around by its own outgassing, scientists calculate it weighs at least 33 billion tons. To put that into perspective, that's about as heavy as the upper peak of Mount Everest. For a comet, that's impossibly dense. It suggests this thing might be made of materials we don't typically see in comets, maybe even processed metals or other heavy elements. The timing of the government shutdown has crippled our ability to study this properly. The Perseverance rover on Mars did capture something on October 2nd, a streak moving across multiple images over nine minutes, going the wrong direction compared to the background stars. But without NASA's full team to process and verify the data, we're stuck with grainy, unconfirmed images that raise more questions than they answer. Meanwhile, China's Tianwen-1 orbiter and the UAE's Hope probe are both actively observing 3i Atlas right now. They're not affected by our government shutdown. They're collecting data that American scientists can't access, potentially making discoveries that should have been ours. The irony is thick. We spent $2.7 billion on the Perseverance rover mission, and now we can't even properly download its data during one of the most important observations it might ever make. Some scientists are working around the shutdown in creative ways. Citizen scientists have been downloading raw data from public servers before they went dark, creating an informal network to preserve and analyze whatever information leaked out before the blackout. They're the ones who spotted that anomalous streak in the Perseverance images, not NASA's official channels. The shutdown couldn't have come at a worse time for another reason. On September 25th, a coronal mass ejection from the sun hit 3i Atlas directly. This blast of charged particles should have dramatically affected any normal comet, potentially breaking off its tail or causing visible fragmentation. But follow-up observations from September 27th and October 2nd show no dramatic changes, another anomaly that doesn't fit our models. As 3i Atlas heads toward its closest approach to the Sun on October 29th, it will accelerate to 153,000 miles per hour. At that speed and distance, the Sun's heat should cause massive outgassing, potentially breaking the object apart. Some scientists predict it might not survive the encounter. If it does break up, we'll never know what it really was. If it doesn't, that's another mystery to add to the growing list. The European Space Agency's JUICE spacecraft, currently in the inner solar system, it is scheduled to observe 3i Atlas in November. But here's the catch. The data won't be transmitted back to Earth until February 2026, because the Sun will block communications. By then, 3i Atlas will be long gone, heading back to interstellar space at speeds we can't match with any current technology. The shutdown has revealed something about our priorities. We'll spend $93 billion on the Artemis program to put boots on the moon again. But we can't keep scientists working during a visit from an object that might hold clues about life beyond Earth. We're so busy fighting over budgets that we're missing what could be the discovery of the century. As I record this, 3i Atlas continues its journey, indifferent to our politics and shutdowns. Every day it moves 5.2 million miles farther from Earth. Every day the window to study it closes a little more. The universe doesn't wait for government funding disputes. This visitor from the stars won't return. Whatever secrets it carries about its origin, its composition, maybe even its purpose, are slipping away while we argue about money. The question isn't whether the timing is suspicious, it's whether we'll learn from this colossal failure. When the next interstellar visitor arrives and scientists say one shows up every few years now that we know how to look for them, will we be ready? Or will we be shut down again, watching from the sidelines as other nations make the discoveries that reshape our understanding of the universe? If this information shocked you as much as it shocked me, hit that like button and subscribe for more updates on 3i Atlas and other space mysteries they don't want you to know about. Drop a comment below, do you think this timing is just coincidence or is something bigger going on? And share this with someone who needs to know what's really happening above our heads. The truth is out there even if NASA isn't allowed to tell us.